So good morning everybody, my name is Urs Fischer, I am Secretary General of the European Stroke Organization. We are here at the European Stroke Organization Conference in Milan and I have a special guest today. It's Professor Bertrand Laperc from the Hôpital, Hôpital uh, uh, Foch in Paris. Thank you very much for coming. Thanks. So, and first of all, congratulations for the ASTA 2 trial, which you will publish today. So, could you please give me a brief summary about the trial? Thanks, yours. And ASTA 2 trial focus on the best strategy uh, in terms of uh, endovascular approach. Um, we know that there is a strong relationship between uh, the disability of the stroke and the quality of the recognition. All of the endovascular trials um, use the definition of successful recognition as 2B3. I mean, um, complete or incomplete recognition. But when you look at the data on the follow-up of this patient, there is a main difference between TK2B, incomplete recognition, and TK3, complete recognition. A huge difference in terms of disability. We saw at others that the target of the endovascular uh, procedure should be TK3, complete recognition. It's uh, what, you want, what we want to, to assess in the ASTA2 trials, and we um, compare both strategy, a maximalist approach, combining aspiration and stent retriever technique versus the standard, the stent retriever technique. And we want to know if the maximalist approach achieve better recognition rate at the end uh, of the procedure. That's, that sounds really convincing. So we are very keen, or at least I am very keen, to know the results of the trial. In the ASTA2 trial, we randomized 408 patients um, across 11 centers in France. And um, when we look at the primary outcome, means perfect recognition at the end of the treatment, uh, the maximalist approach um, get eight points uh, superior to the standard harm mean 65% versus 58.5%, but it was not significant. It's interesting because when we look at the pre-specified subgroup and we look at um, the ICA occlusion, I mean, the, it's, in this case, there is a high burden of, of clot. Um, in the ICA uh, terminus occlusion, there is a strong data supporting the maximalist approach. So maybe the future should be to adapt the strategy um, according to the site of the occlusion or the type of the clot. So you're talking about uh, individualized treatment approaches. Can you support this with this subgroup analysis? It's only subgroup analysis, so we need more data on it. But the main result is we do not support any maximalist approach for all patients. So whatever the strategy you use, choose the one you trust. Aspiration, stance retriever, maybe um, combined strategy, but again, there is no clear evidence to support maximalist approach. Probably in the future, we can detect uh, a specific group, maybe ICA occlusion or um, according to the type of the clot to choose the best endovascular strategy. Are there any difference about, uh, concerning safety in both arms? It's a very good question because um, some uh, interventionalist teams hard to use maximalist approach, but again, there is a risk uh, during the procedure of dissection or perforation. In the ASTA2 trial, there is no major safety concern, no safety concern. The rate of complication in terms of erratic embolism, perforation, dissection, symptomatic hemorrhage is very similar across two arms. Um, what about balloon-guided catheters? Was this mandatory in the trial? Yes. Again, good question. We compare in the ASTA2 trials maximalist approach, combining aspiration and stent versus stent. But in both arms, we monitor to have a balloon-guided catheter inflated during the procedure. So yes. So these are very interesting results. What do you think are the next steps now? What uh, trials will follow uh, in, uh, in, in, uh, after ASTA2? The first thing is the rate of um, complete or near complete recognition now with modern approach. I mean, with large bore catheter uh, aspiration or a stent retriever with balloon guide catheter, we achieve very high level of TK3 
uh, or uh, and a Tiki 2C or Tiki 3 uh, rate uh, with this modern approach. So future, um, I think we have to adapt the strategy. I think maybe, um, probably, uh, in, when you, you take in account uh, the site of the occlusion, or maybe the type of the cloud, there is many work on it, maybe we, we could adapt the better strategy, aspiration, or stand, or maybe combining both. So I think there is a new area of research on, on this issue. So thank you very much. We are very keen to uh, read the results of the trial. Where can we uh, uh, read the publication? The manuscript is underway, so I think it will be uh, submitted in the next weeks. Excellent. Congratulations for this tremendous job, and thank you very much for joining this interview. Thanks, sir.